Well, since Unity's fucking dead. dead, even though they recently adjusted their changes, they're still dead. I'm out. See ya. Apparently, Godot is a good alternative to Unity, so I'm going to be spending eight hours using Godot, and we're going to see what I can make without having any prior knowledge. <laughs> First things first, I need to know what kind of game I'm gonna make. And for fun, I'm gonna spin a wheel. And we're making a tower defense game, which is great because I made my first tower defense game in the last video. And I'm sure it'll be just as easy to make in Ghetto. <laughs> With our genre locked in and the time is set, I began. I started off by watching this video called Godot for Unity Developers because I'm a Unity developer using Godot. So far, so good. I learned some basics like Godot uses nodes instead of game objects. Instead of prefabs, it uses scenes, which is a little whack because you're populating scenes with other smaller scenes. Also, you can use C-sharp with Godot, which is really helpful if you're a pussy. And about 15 minutes in, I decided, yeah, nah, ain't no way I'm making a tower defense game. So I switched to making some sort of generic platformer. Because they're easy to make, in my opinion. Which means that wheel spinner was worthless. Get banged. I then scoured itch.io to find some suitable assets. I don't want to be wasting precious time creating assets that I could be using learning the engine. Pretty much any pixel art with high saturation will do. And I made the player Finn from Adventure Time. Because cool in it. So the difference between Unity's game objects and Godot's nodes is that in Unity, if you wanted to create a character, you'd make a game object and just start slapping components on, like your sprite renderer, rigid body, animator, maybe some audio sources, and then your custom script. Whereas nodes in Godot are a combination of game objects and components. So you start off with your base node for a player, it's probably something that handles physics, and then you add your other nodes as children of that base node, like you would components. Something that I did for find strange in Godot is instantiating objects. To create an object in Unity, it's literally just one line of code. Any script can instantiate an object anywhere. Easy peasy. But in Godot, it gets a little strange. For some reason, you can only instantiate an object as a child of the node that's instantiating the object. So let's say you wanted to instantiate some jump particles at the player's feet, which is something you don't want to be a child of the player because it will move with the player and you don't want that. You have to instantiate the particles from the scene node, which is technically a game object, which to do that takes using single post version of the observer, having create a function within the main scene node, which you then have to connect to a single on the player node script, and then you can call a function from the scene script, using that signal you pass through the position and the object can instantiate it. And there you have it. You get your f***ing jump particles. Which I didn't figure out in the eight hours because it wasn't working and I was using too much time so I gave up on it. I f***ed around with the camera a bit and got the classic camera smoothing effect without writing a single line of code. Also fixed up the player animations and I gotta admit it is really nice having built in shit like is on floor and is on wall. In Unity you gotta check that shit for yourself either using ray casts or colliders. It's time to learn how to use Godot's tiling system. I've already done the bare minimum but I can only make squares at the moment. The tiling system is a bit different from Unity's. I noticed that the auto tiling is a little bit strange. It doesn't auto update perfectly, so you have to replace the tiles that aren't right. But the interface to set up the tiles is so much better than Unity. This is a massive Godot W. The main reason it's so much better is that you can see the whole tile sheet while setting up the rules in Godot. In Unity, it's fucking trash. All you can see is a tiny piece of the tile map, and then you can't really see the relation to the other tiles, and sometimes it's really hard to tell what part of the tile map you're looking at, so you're left to just start guessing like a worthless dumb guy. It feels like there's been a lot more thought put into Godot's tile system than Unity's. Anyway. I got a game to finish. I put dinosaurs in the game that you can kill. I changed the background. Look, parallax. Without writing a single line of code. Now there's 15 minutes left. How'd that happen? <laughs> I don't know. All I do know is that there's no sound. And now there is. I also added a U win. Just literally text at the top of this hill. And look at that. The timer ran out. And that's the game. It ain't much. Um... Yeah, but yeah, that's that's my Godot video. Going forward, I'm still going to be using Unity because those changes that they made, they don't affect me. And um, now I know Godot. If, if it all does go to sh they bring back some aids. I can use Godot. And just in general, if any, if I do a game jam with someone who uses Godot, he'll be like, yeah, I know how to use that. So, um, yeah, Godot's a good engine. <laughs>